friends so today we are going to talk about theories of public expenditure theories of public expenditure are generally divided into two pure theories of public expenditure and general theories of public expenditure so under pure theory we are discussing about pigou's ability to pay theory given by the neoclassical economist ac pigou so in this theory he tried to determine the optimum amount of public expenditure so what is optimum amount of public expenditure when you spend a rupee on something you receive a some kind of satisfaction from that spending on the one hand and on the other hand you some of your satisfaction is lost because your money is being is going away from your hand so optimum amount of public expenditure is that level of public expenditure or that point at which the satisfaction obtained from the last rupee spent is equal to the satisfaction lost because of the last rupee spent now pigo also gives some conditions under which public expenditure could be larger the first is greater the aggregate income of the community greater is the optimum amount of public expenditure secondly new opportunities for public expenditure are opened where there are no corresponding opportunities for private expenditure that is if new if the public expenditure gets new opportunities for spending or activities where corresponding opportunity does not exist for the private sector then definitely public expenditure optimum public expenditure will be larger and the last condition pigou gives is that where when there is an increase in inequality when there is a great amount of inequality public expenditure optimum amount of public expenditure is greater why because government has a responsibility to undertake expenditure and activities for increasing the sorry for decreasing the inequality in income so that is about the ability to pay theory of pigou next in general theory first we are going to talk about wagner's law of increasing state activities it is given by the german economist adolf wagner So Wagner says that there is a cause effect relationship between government expenditure and economic development. He says that public expenditure increases more than proportionately with the increase in growth of the economy. His theory is based upon historical facts and it is applicable only where the state is interested in expanding its activities. so for uh, explaining his uh, law he has divided public expenditure into two heads one is for internal and external security and the next is for culture and welfare that is normal social activities education health etc comes in that head now the factors responsible for increase in public expenditure as given by wagner is firstly expansion of social activities or functions of the government that is more the government uh, undertakes economic activities or social activities the amount of public expenditure will be larger war and preparation for war because that is entirely upon the government the next is population growth and urbanization when there is growth in population uh, government will have to undertake more and more activities to ensure the welfare of the people to ensure that there is enough employment decrease in inequality etc same is the case with urbanization next modern complexities of life that is wagner says that the very process of economic growth brings about certain unique problems the solution for which will be will have to be undertaken by will have to be made by undertaking public expenditure next is participation in material production or in economic activities so that's it for today we looked at pigou's ability to pay which comes under pure theory of public expenditure and wagner's law of increasing state activities which comes under general theory of public expenditure in future videos we will look at other theories of public expenditure thank you